All right, what's going on, y'all? This will be my last video today. I don't know. I might do some other videos on my tourist channel here. But uh, let me know what you think, okay? And I did a video about this before. Now, I want to throw a disclaimer out here. This ain't nothing to bash the LGBT community. But I'm just talking this about this one particular person. And what's the purpose of, of all this, okay? I want to, uh, I got this from Anthony Brian Logan, and I wanted to chime my two cents in it. Actually, this happened uh, before uh, with another athlete, with a trans a track athlete, as well as a swim athlete. It may have been the same person as far as the swimming, I don't know. So I want to talk about, okay, this it called uh, Leah Thomas. All right, is basically a man, okay, that is identified as a woman that is NCAA Woman of the Year. You know, I, I made a video about this a few days ago, last week actually. Last time I checked, I thought there was really only two genders unless there was some type of natural physical mutation, okay? Male. And female. So, how did this happen? You know, you know what I just think it is. I just think that it's symbolism. Okay, it ain't nothing. It ain't but nothing to get attention from the NCAA. Okay, that let's just say during the uh, days. When I played, like, with Proposition 48, okay? So, that was to keep brothers, okay, off uh, from the street trying to play ball from going to these white schools or whatever, okay, and scooping up all the ladies, okay, the white ladies and so forth, but you'll turn around years later and give a man the woman of the year, okay? See, so you don't support certain things, but you uh, support this BS, okay? And that's exactly what it is, okay? And I, I made this before about a year ago. Uh, I made this comment. I said, you think this is all fun and games? Now, this is in regards to here in Nevada where I reside here in Las Vegas when they gave a man Miss Nevada, okay? So you think this is all fun and games until one of these women get hurt or they get raped or whatever, okay? And then people or the law wants to renege from it, okay? And it does cause confusion. I made videos about this time and uh, time again about Leviticus 18 to 20, all right? Actually, uh, it's 22 about transvestism. Okay, if I got that that chapter wrong, somebody correct me. But I believe it's twenty two point five. Okay, uh, but, uh, concerning that, but in the end of the day, this is all about uh, this is all about views. This is all about notoriety, and that that man ought to be ashamed of himself. He really should. So. This is a man that probably couldn't compete against other men. So he wants to get a sex change, man boobs, and compete with women just so he can break records. Okay? That's a damn shame. You know, if you lose, you lose. And that's it. All right? If you ain't good enough, find something else to do or get better. Okay? Get better first. Improve. If you still can't make it, find another profession. Is that hard to understand? Sooner or later, you're going to have to quit anyway. There's a lot of women, from what I understand, from looking at uh, the article, that are pushing against this. They don't like this because what it does, it deters from female competition. And I think this is already bad enough that females don't get the support that they 
you know, uh, the due support that they deserve to have. Okay. Uh, in which we should be trying to support uh, female, well, female sports more anyway. And stuff like this does not help at all. So, what does this, I'm just thinking, what does this LGBT community represent? Because there's many uh, LGBT community uh, and they should not be mistreated. And I'm not trying to say that I support it, but I do support the rights. They should be able to read, eat, work. They should not be mistreated. Okay. I don't support it and I, I don't support the movement and I don't follow it. Okay. But I do support the rights. I want to say that right now. Uh, although, like I say, in my personal opinion, that it is religious, religiously an abomination. But it seems like the powers of be, the government is going way, way overboard with it. So what's going to happen next? A woman, what? It's going to be what? Uh, a man is going to be, uh, what's that? The player of the year in the WNBA, WNBA. All right. There's not a woman that's going to compete in man sport, uh, a man sport, the NFL, or get the, what's that? The NBA and be the man of the year. All right. And I just think that this is also a ploy to demascul uh, demasculate men. Okay. Pretty much to, excuse me for saying this is shit on, in a man's face. Okay. And let young boys know that this is okay. All right. And it's not okay. And people should have a choice to, to do, to be whoever they want to be. Probably when they get a certain age, I think probably like 18 OK, but this should not be an agenda pushed. All right. But even Caitlyn Jenner used to be Bruce Jenner. That man that's a woman now even says something against this. There's a lot of people in the LGBT that are conservative. All right. That don't like to be, you know, uh, have this agenda pushed. They've gotten real overboard with it. But let me know what you think about this uh, this article, y'all. This is hideous. I'm going to get me some breakfast. I'm going to go back to bed. All right, let me know your thoughts. Thank you for your time.